Howdy, this is Professor Scott Norman at Pittsburgh State University, and today we are in the Department of Automotive Technology, and I'm in my fuels lab. And so today uh, we are talking about uh, vapor fuels with our students, and so uh, uh, we, we spend a lot of time talking about vapor fuels used in an internal combustion engine. So, so the big three fuels would be uh, hydrogen, natural gas, and propane. So, so one of the things that I'll do in class is that uh, we have a hydrogen generator. So here's a hydrogen uh, generator that, uh, that a student has made in a, in a previous class, in our hybrid class. And uh, we put uh, two 12-volt uh, batteries that we hook up to the generator to actually generate uh, hydrogen. And so, um, and again, that's a whole other subject as far as how the hydrogen uh, generator works. But uh, what we'll do is that we'll collect some hydrogen and I'll put it in a little water bottle. And then I'll compare uh, how different hydrogen burns, you know, compared it to um, propane and compare it to uh, natural gas. My natural gas hat. Aha, my natural gas right there. And so uh, I get natural gas because, you know, every building is uh, plumbed with a natural gas for heating. And so, I'll, so, 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 so natural gas is pretty easy to get. Uh, the propane, I'll just use a simple uh, propane torch. And I'll turn it upside down. Well, I'll turn my bottle upside down, and I'll put the um, and I'll let some propane out, and so um, we'll be able to see the comparisons, you know, uh, to gasoline. You know how gasoline burns uh, to these vapor fuels. We are in the last day of class, and I said before that I like to go out with a bang in our fuels class, and so um, we're going to take a look at some fuels and comparisons, and so I got red diesel fuel. So when I try to light red diesel fuel on fire, what's going to happen? I'm not going to lie. So if I stick this thing in here, and you know I'm putting the flames in the fluid itself, it's not lighting. So why does the diesel fuel light? Flash point is 140 degrees. Flash point is 140 degrees, and what's not happening right here? Yeah, no vapors are being produced. You know the liquid fuel is not going to. Not going to burn, and it's only the other vapors. And so, so then I got some gasoline in here, and gasoline. If I ooh, you don't burn just fine. I like that. What if I come over here and do this? Will it will it burn if I do that? No, maybe barely. It's, it's lighting. Why, why won't that light? Yeah, so what's wrong right now? Too rich of a mixture. Yeah, too rich of the mixture. So I'm, I'm, I'm above the upper flammability limits on that, right? So the key is, is that is that not only does it have to be a vapor, but it has to be a right mixture of fuel vapors and oxygen in order for the light. So now if I come over and do that, ah, that light up. And so, by the way, if you like fuel, you need to make sure you ha are able to put it out some way. So I'm going to starve it with oxygen, and it's too rich and it won't burn. And so, so again, all these fuels have an upper and lower flammability limits, and so you know we saw that with with that gasoline. So the good thing is that when I'm dealing with vapor fuels, that they're already vapor, so I don't have to worry about you know getting to uh, a certain um, you know temperature in order for them to vaporize. They're already there. But I still have to worry about upper flammability limits and lower flammability limits. So I got four different, five different, um, I don't know, we'll call these vapors. Uh, we'll start off with uh, CO2. So is CO2 flammable? No, it's not. That's, that's actually coming out of the exhaust, right? So if I, so if I, I tend to turn it upside down so I don't lose any of my vapors. And if I put this guy here, there's nothing at all. Flame CO2 is a byproduct of combustion and it is not flammable, which is good for us when we're what? Like smoking cigars or something like that, right? Uh, what about CO? You guys know that? Carbon monoxide. Carbon monoxide. No, no. Monoxide. It is flammable. It's a flammable gas. I don't really have any CO in here right now. It's just it's a big bottle, so. <laughs> but but it, it's not, it is flammable. Okay, so I got. Let me see. I got. We'll start off with my uh, CH4. CH4 is what? 
methane. So methane is the stuff that's coming out of the, the gas. And so, so we're gonna compare, and I'm gonna turn it sideways just so you guys can kind of see it a little bit here. I'm gonna do it this way. Uh, maybe I'll do this. I know. You're like, oh. Yeah. So the key is, is that it's light, and so if I if I hold it up like this, a lot of it's gonna come out. I guess I can try this, but come it out and light it and see what's gonna happen. And the key is that it, 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 I can see it flaming right now. I can see heat waves on there. You can barely see it. But the bottom line is, did it go boom? No. No. I'm gonna put that out because it's gonna melt my bottle. My my bottle. There we go. You want to try that again and see what happens? Oh, yeah. You can see the kind of the blue yeah. flame in there. Yeah. So so it's lighting. Then I put it out. So bottom line is, is that it didn't go, it goes like whoosh. And I, I talk about that with gasoline. You know, gasoline, when you have a whoosh of gasoline, you're not on fire. Because I, it's a it's a very slow burn when you, when you compare it to other fuels. It does like a, a whoosh. Doesn't necessarily explode. But what if I fill this whole entire room with with uh, with a natural gas and and, and and then try to light it? Yeah, I mean, I mean, obviously you guys have seen gas uh, natural gas explosions before, and so it does do that. But again, it has to be at the right concentration. And so, but the key is that that is typically when you light it on the stove, it's like a whoosh. You leave it on for a long period of time, and then you light it. What happens to your stove? It's a big whoosh, right? <laughs> yeah, so, so so you guys have seen the actual gas. And then you guys have probably lived in propane tanks before. So what's similar between propane and natural gas as far as the way you light your stove versus your barbecue grill? Similar? Yeah, it's pretty similar, right? So now propane is actually heavier than air, so I don't have to worry so much about it escaping. And I can't tell if it's lit up or not. Yeah, it's burning. It's burning? Okay, you see the heat? Okay, we're going to turn it off. Go ahead and turn it off and see what we got there. Yep, it's all out of there already. Okay, turn it back on again. So, so the bottom line with uh, propane, again, I'm not sure how much propane I had in it. Well, we can try it one more time. We'll put the propane in. Yeah, but it's there it goes. Bottom oh, line is that you know it's a, a whoosh burn is what it is, and again, there's not the volume of it's not a lot. So, so compare that to propane. I'm sorry, hydrogen. And so I have hydrogen in two bottles. Two bottles. <laughs> Okay, what do you think about lighting hydrogen in this big bottle right here? Yeah, let's not do that. And so, and so the, and the why is that? <laughs> that's why not. Let's do it. So, so we kind of wanted to say, okay, we know that this is safe. We know we can put hydrogen in this and safe, and you know we tend to start going up higher and higher. And so. For um, uh, putting hydrogen in this and lighting it is not safe uh, if you're wanting to do experiments oh, yeah. with your students because this is what happens and it does rattle the windows. And so we were um, uh, smart enough to go outside when this happened. And um, and uh, the good news is that we were using this type of lighter and not trying to use a little bit lighter. And so, so you know, you, you can, it's dangerous because hydrogen is a very fast. Uh, uh, a very fast burn, and so we're going to be testing a really good video. Yeah. Okay. This is Scott Norman.
And if you're looking for more automotive educational videos, you can visit my uh, Professor Pintane website. Uh, I'm also on YouTube and Facebook. Uh, you can look for ProfessorPintane.com on the web. Thanks very much. You guys have a good day.